And now the twist in the 2G case, Swan Telecom promoter Shahid Balwa, accused of being one of the man, one of the main beneficiaries, has targeted Ratan Tata and the CBI for going soft on him. Balwa's lawyer Vijay Agarwal argued that the CBI is biased towards Tata and has therefore targeted telecom companies selectively. To back his claim, he produced in court several letters between Tata and former telecom minister A. Raja. A new twist in the 2G case. Swan Telecom promoter Shahid Balwa, accused of being one of the main beneficiaries, has targeted Ratan Tata and the CBI for going soft on him. Balwa's lawyer Vijay Agrawal argued that the CBI is biased towards Tata and has therefore targeted telecom companies selectively. To back his claim, he produced in court several letters between Tata and former telecom minister A. Raja between June 2008 and September 2009. NDTV has exclusive access to these letters detailing a donation of 20 crore rupees by the Sir Durabji Tata Trust to the Medical College Hospital in Raja's constituency, Pirambalur. In one such letter dated 10 September 2009, Raja wrote to Tata, It was requested that the cheque of the entire amount of 20 crore may be made as a special case as an upfront payment in the name of the hospital authority. I request you to please look into the matter personally to see that the entire amount of 20 crore is released to the government of Tamil Nadu at the earliest. In his reply explaining the delay in sending funds, Ratan Tata wrote on 15 September 2009, I wish to inform you that we have never made a grant of this size to any external recipient in the Trust's history. The grant to the Pirambalur Hospital was given as a very special case after considerable deliberation amongst the trustees, which include independent persons. Balwa's charge is that there was a quid pro quo between Tata and Raja on spectrum allocation. Yet the CBI has not even investigated Tata, only going after companies like his. Well, the court is yet to express its opinion on these letters. They are now part of the official court records. And even as the court order on the bail plea of Shahid Balwa is awaited, by launching a frontal attack on the Tata group and its chairman Ratan Tata, Balwa has clearly stirred the hornet's nest and sought to widen the ambit of the 2G probe. And given the Supreme Court's repeated strictures against the CBI, asking it to go after the big fish, the next phase of the probe could throw up some very interesting facts and names. In New Delhi, Neha Khanna for NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.